Well, so I was uh, doing some um, coding earlier, and I did a code for resistors in series, so I figure let me do one for resistor in parallel, and in this case I want to have a code that I can have as many resistors in parallel as I want to. So I decided to do the KISS example for this one, and um, but I wanted to be able to put as many resistors in parallel that I wanted to, you know. Um, so in this case, you need to have um, more than one resistor to be able to use that. So otherwise it will not do certain things in here, but I will still do it probably, but uh, that's more for more resistors in parallel. But So I want to have more flexibility, so this is the code that I wrote. So what the code is doing, you are inputting the value of the source voltage and then you're inputting the value of resistors in parallel. It stores the value of resistors in parallel in a list. And then it takes that list because you have to use a complicated formula. So I, I take the list of resistors and I want to calculate. First, I want to calculate this. And it calculates the inverse of the values that you enter for the values of the resistors. So and then it takes the <coughs> that inverse and store it. Then it calculates the current too. So we need to calculate the current for each of the branches. So we calculate the current and we store it in a list for the current branches, which I call IB. And then since the total resistor is the inverse of the sum of the inverse of the each, so I. In here, we calculate the total resistance, 1 over the sum of the inverse values. And um, finally, we calculate the total current, which is the sum of the current branches. And that is a list, too. So I'm using a list to create another list to create another list that I manipulate with the numbers. And it kind of works. So um, those are the calculations that I did for this example on my own. We know the values, we know what to expect. So let's see if the program can do the same. So let me put this on the side for a little bit. Let's press here the run button. So we we'll enter the values. Value for the source voltage is 120. Number of resistors in parallel is 3. Value of first resistor is 50. Value of second resistor is 40. Value of third resistor is 30. And here we go. So, the current across its branches, and uh, give me the current across its br across branches in amps is 2.4, and for the first branch, 3.0, 4.0. We can check that, and that's exactly what I got 2.4, 3.34, and then the total resistance in ohms is uh, 12.76, and that's the same value that I got in here, 2.76. And uh, the total current is 9.4 amps, 9.4 amps. So yeah, the program works, the program runs. I'm happy.